Um, I'll just read this article, I guess. In an interview with Ars Technica, Mark, he's defending the licensing, and, licensing and use game policy of Xbox One, stating that the reaction from the game was just kind of as we expected in the long run. He expects that gamers will see the benefits of the policies on the console as the gaming market shifts to digital only in favor of physical discs. So, but what's the point of buying a physical disc if you're just going to download it and then you don't need the physical disc ever that's again? That's what I'm saying. In the future, and what they're trying to do is shift it to digital. Yeah. So this makes sense for a digital thing. Oh, so they want completely digital, like Steam or something like that. Yeah. And what are you going to do with your Steam games? You're going to sell it to someone over the internet? That doesn't make any sense. It's the point of like licensing, and it's, it's moving forward in the future instead of just staying in the same like Stone Age that we're in right now, where you can just give a it's disc based and you can hand it to your friend and he can play it for free. I don't see the point of disc, so just. Why not just completely get rid of that and have it only downloadable, right? Okay, but if they did that, then you wouldn't be able to give it to your friend anyway. But yeah, if you give it to your friend, you can only give it to one friend, and once he uses it, no one else can. Well, you can use it again, but that's it. Well, yeah, but think of it like this. You you bought that game, like, say on Steam, for like right now, for example, the way Steam is, you buy that game on Steam, can you share that with someone? No, not at all, but you can gift it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's something they could do. Yeah. But, um, I'll keep going with this article. It says, Microsoft is trying to do something pretty big in terms of moving the industry forward for console gaming into the digital world, adding what we believe digital is better. In the future, Mandy, which I think is like the uh, chief marketer or whatever, Xbox, yeah. uh, believes that the move to all digital will provide the capabilities for different licensing models, although for the time being, it's a big change that Microsoft needs to educate users about to make sure people understand. Which is like, I kind, I, I'm not like, I'm, I'm not saying I completely like understand what they're trying to say, but I do understand that they're trying to, you know, move forward into the future and change the way gaming is gonna be, and like, it, it might suck because we're not used to it and we're like, we're, we're not all, ready for it. We we don't understand it completely. Yeah, yet. we're we're just think we're just used to, you know, I buy a game, I want to give to my friend, and that's the way it's gonna work. But the future is different, and we're moving forward, and Xbox is trying to push the future on us. Where, whereas PS4 isn't, and people, I find people just don't want, don't like change, and they want to keep it the same. It's like, oh, PS4 isn't doing that, PS4 isn't doing that, uh, but Xbox is. So like, fuck Xbox. I'd rather get a PS4 because they're not changing anything. You yeah. Know? But Which still, like, uh... I find, I find it like, for me, for example, like, I don't really care because I'm just, I play uh, COD competitively. Yeah. And I'm not like, I, I'll buy those other games, and it's not like I'm so interested in them, and like I'm so, uh, like I'm not You're gonna not buy it. Them. Yeah, like I'm not gonna go buy like, like, Last of Us or whatever, saying it was for the Xbox One, or whatever, and saying I'm gonna buy it, and then after I'm done with it, I'm gonna like trade it in or like do whatever with it because like I don't really care. I just play COD competitively. Like I buy a game, I'll keep it. You know, like I don't, I don't buy many games anyway. I just buy the games that like appeal to me because I spend so much yeah. time playing Call of Duty competitively. That I don't really have time to play any of those other games, or you know, I have an interest. You know. But the thing is, like, uh, with the games that we have today. There isn't much replayability. Like you can't uh, go yeah. and replay. You you want to sell it so then you can buy the new game that's coming out, right? Yeah. So it, and that makes sense. Yeah, but the thing is, they could either they could either leave it the way it is, um, you know, being able to trade it in and sell it or do whatever, and keep the used game market running. Yeah. Or they can make it so you know when you finish the game, you can sell it back as sort of like you were renting it in a way. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Like, not, not, therefore, like, not really get your money back that you got for free, but, like, you're say returning it to them because you're done with it. Like, uh, if, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, you're returning it to Microsoft. Or Microsoft. The developers. Yeah, 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 the developers of the game. And then, or not even, maybe, the, not even the developers, maybe you could, you could, like, transfer it to someone. Transfer it for another game, maybe? Yeah, like, like that kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't yeah, want this game anymore. Like yeah, Yeah. And uh, I'll keep reading with this article. He says, Mandy also clarified the situation regarding the sharing of Xbox One game library with the 10 family members, despite not being able to give all the details at this stage. According to him, a family member will doesn't actually have to live in your house, could be 3,000 miles away, and you'll be able to link slash add Xbox Live accounts to access your, your shared game library, although only one person can play a copy of a shared game at one time. So he also says, finally, Mendy said it was hard to say what the reaction from the greater community community will be over the Xbox One's various restrictions and policies. And uh, 
Yeah, and like, I'm looking at this comment to so someone saying, you know, uh, we believe digital is better, which is what Xbox said, and someone, the guy said, yeah, for you. Um, because really, it, that's like what I said in the beginning, it is a win-win situ or win-lose situation. It's good for the developers, but not really for the gamers, because because we want, you know, we obviously want what we want, we know what we want. Okay, but look at look at it from this way. Not all countries have amazing internet access, right? So like, yeah. the thing is with Xbox One and Microsoft in general is they're focusing only on North America, so like Canada, Mexico, and United States, obviously. Yeah, but they completely forgot about like everyone else and like Europe. Like, it, it doesn't work out as well for them. Like they they don't have access to online as as well as we do. What in, in Europe? And not just Europe, but like the whole world, like. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, that's not fair, if they're, though. If they're, if they're not as technology, tech, and I can't even say, say the word. If they're not as advanced, you know, technology-wise, then what, what are we supposed to do? Like, we're moving forward in our country, in our generation. And if they, like, like, say in China, for example, or not, maybe not China, but Japan, they don't yeah. even get the Xbox One, but they don't care because they have well, they, hate, they, they hate Xbox. They 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 loathe Microsoft entirely. Yeah, but that's that's because they get their own shit. They get they get the Nintendo stuff. They get PS4 and all that. Yeah. But yeah, but that what what why does it matter to them? And especially in those countries, like the developing countries, not maybe not like the really poor ones, but the ones that are coming up. I was thinking like, like Germany, like or like uh, Poland or like Russia, somewhere. Yeah, but there. but a lot of those countries don't even pay attention to this stuff. You think they care about any of this? No, they do. They do. They this this is our like this is more uh, uh, American built. Yeah, built for its uh, towards uh, by Americans for Americans like that. Yeah, like that more like that sort of thing. But like that's the way it is. But I don't like it like that. Like a lot of people agree with me here. Like okay, if you live in like in Australia or something, how would you feel if a game company pretty much said no, we're not going to really work that well for you? Well, it does work in Australia, though. Yeah, but not as well as it would here, right? Why? Because they don't have all the same features, like for Netflix and all the other advertisements on there. Well, they have their own thing. Yeah, but it's not as good as ours, right? Yeah, because they're because these things are being developed in our country and they're being developed for our country, and they're just getting ported out to the other countries because they ask for it. So. But the, they should still be able to like have equal opportunities, you know? Yeah, but if their country can't like. It's like it's like you're saying that if they wanted to have like all that kind of stuff. They go make like like go build Xboxes in Australia for Australian people or whatever. No, no, no. I'm saying like their services, like uh, I don't know, like their online services. So like uh, if I wanted to contact Nintendo or sorry Microsoft, if I have like a problem, it's not as good there as it is here. Yeah, because it, the, con the the company is here. Yeah, but they're it's not an focusing. American country. Yeah, they're not focusing on like the world. They're focusing only in America, and uh, other countries hate that. Like, you know how other countries feel about America. They look yeah. at it and they're like, "Oh, well, they have everything. We have nothing. This isn't fair." Uh, well, it's like that for everything because they develop them here in our country. Our country is more technology advanced than they are, and what are we supposed to do about that? Be like, "Oh, sorry. Here's all our stuff. Have it." Yeah, but we should. We could at least make it like user friendly to them over there. At the very least. Well, to a to an extreme or an extent, it is user friendly to them. It's the best they can get, and really, I don't even think it's that bad in Australia. Well, for example, Australia. Yeah. For, just, yeah. Yeah, and just it's it, it's not even that bad, really. Like it's good, it's good enough, and I've seen, like they're selling it, like they are, like I know they're already selling it in Australia for, like whatever the same price, but like the currency changed, and it's uh, uh two hundred dollars more or something like that. Well, no, it's just the currency. It's the same price. Here. If they came here and used that money, it would be the same price. It's just the currency's different. Okay. But I don't know. I, I just mean like I don't I don't see it as like a big deal for the other countries because they're just getting whatever they get. And that's then what like also what what are you saying with the PS4? Are you saying the PS4 is like porting to them better for anything? No, 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 not at all. I'm so just saying I'm, they're like like I can play my games in those other countries. Like I don't have to connect to an internet service that I might or may or not have, you know. Well, that's the future. And if you don't like, and if you don't like, if you don't have internet, you can stick with the Xbox 360. Oh so yeah, going, I saw that. It's not going away. Yeah, the uh, Don Maverick or whoever his name is said yeah. that he was like, oh, just stick with Xbox 360. Yeah, but and he like, also said if like, they, if they don't have internet in the first place, though, what like, 
they don't buy it. Like you don't. It's not. They have for internet, you. but it's not as well as ours. Okay, then they don't. It's not for them then. Because they, their country can't afford the satellites, to, like America can, or like Canada can. Well, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Their country's not a technology advanced. It's like, it's like saying, yo, let's go to Africa and give all those kids Xboxes. Like, we can't. It's just not the way it's going to happen. It's not going to work. You can't just say, because it's because these Australian people, for example, are better off than the Africans, that we can just give them the exact same thing we have just because they are where they are. Well, we could, like, at least improve their system over there or something like that. Yeah, well, that's not up to us. So. Yeah. <laughs>